um, x to the power log x minus 100x is equal to 0 and solving for x. So we can just rearrange this as x to the power log x is equal to 100x. And we can take logs of both sides. So we get the log of x to the power log x is equal to the log of 100x, right? And from here, we know that for any such power of a log, we can just write this as b log a. So therefore, we can write this as log x times log x is equal to, and we know that for any log a b, that can just be written as the log of a plus the log of b, right? So we can just write this as log of 100 plus the log of x, right? And we can just make this a quadratic equation. So we can let log of x is equal to y. And what we can do is we can just say that y times y is equal to, well, log 100 is just equal to 2 because 10 square is equal to 100, right? So we can just write this as 2 plus y. So let's make this a quadratic equation. y square is equal to 2 plus y. And that means that y square minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we can factor this and we can make it y minus 2, um, y plus 1 is equal to 0. So since y is equal to log x, this means that either log x minus 2 is equal to 0 and log x is equal to 2. So that means that x is equal to 10 square or x is equal to 100. And for the second solution, we know that y is equal to log x. So that just means log x plus 1 um, is equal to 0. So log x is equal to negative 1 or x is equal to 10 to the power negative 1 or 1 by 10. And after making the quadratic equations, we have our two solutions for x, 100 and 1 by 10. Thank you.